Corel Painter lets you create color harmonies, which are a set of colors that work well together based upon analogous, complementary, split complementary, tetradic, and monochromatic light values and dark values, giving you aesthetically pleasing results. The resulting color scheme contains a set of colors that are created based upon your chosen mode and its base color is the main color in the color panel. Warm and cool colors are created for vibrant, energetic color schemes. Take a look at the harmony panel. From left to right, the five color swatches of the complementary color harmony are the main color, which is number one, and its direct complement color, number five. Numbers two, three, and four are a blend of those two complementary colors. Once you create a color harmony, you may choose to lock it to prevent the changes to the colors. Changing the main color will dynamically update the swatches in your color harmony and vice versa. Clicking on the color harmony swatch updates that main color in your color wheel. And when you lock the harmonies, selecting a new main color in the color wheel does not affect the color harmony colors. You can save a color harmony for future use, so let's go ahead and take a look at how we actually create a color harmony and go on to save it. There are many ways that you can get started to create a color harmony, but let's take a look at two of the most popular ways of getting this done. One of the ways would be to choose a color on your color panel. So if I wanted to go to my color set libraries, I could actually pick a color and it would automatically update those to the harmonies that I've created here. The other option I have is to go to the color panel and to double click on the main color, which will open the temporal color palette, the floating color palette. And that way, as I change the position of the color from a lighter value to a darker value, or even take the color ring and move it around, you can see how dynamically the colors change on the harmonies panel until I've created just exactly the color that I'm looking for. Notice that I can also change or select a color within the harmonies and it will automatically change that color on the temporal color palette and throughout the rest of the harmonies. I'm going to use my Alt key and then adjust that color on my color wheel. And if I like that color set and I'm looking down at my harmonies, I have a monochromatic light and a monochromatic dark with a good variance of colors. However, I may want to go a little bit lighter on the light harmonies, so I'm going to select the lighter value here. On the harmonies panel, I can lock my harmonies as well. So for example, if I am working on a painting and I'm looking to create a specific color harmony based upon a color that's within my painting and I finally find what I like, I can come over and select the lock the base color of the harmony for these lighter harmonies and I can also pick up and lock the harmonies on the darker values as well. So that means now I can take these harmonies into a color set library and save them. Now I can do that very simply by going to the Add Swatch to Color Set option and it will automatically call it a monochromatic light harmony one and I'll go ahead and select that and let's open our color set so we can see that that's been added and here it is monochromatic light harmonies and let's go ahead now and add the dark harmony as well. So we'll go ahead and add swatches to color set. We'll keep the default name here 
and you can see that that's been applied above the light harmonies. Now the nice thing about Painter, of course, is that I can rearrange colors, I can continue to add colors. So for example, if I felt I needed to go a little bit darker with this particular color, I could unlock this option here and you'll notice it automatically, dynamically updates this to a darker value. So I may want to go to one more value here and then go ahead and select the Add Color to Color set and you can see that I can get that dark, next darkest value. The same would apply to the light harmonies where I may want to go to a lighter value there. So if I select that color, Add Color to Swatch, you can see that I pick up the initial color that I chose. So now I have a full range of light to mid and mid to dark. So these colors would be a good starting point for me to go off and continue to work on my painting with a new set of colors that will keep me focused on those particular harmonies within my painting. By default, the Color Harmonies panel is nested on the Color and Layers panel. However, you can actually drag it out onto the interface by left-clicking and pulling it out. This is a nice feature because if you really want to focus on your harmonies and you don't really want to be concerned with any of the color, other color panels, this is a great opportunity to do that. Remember that you can also unlock these and change harmonies as you're working. Again, by locking them, you freeze those colors in one place so they stay consistent throughout the rest of the painting. And finally, the last option I wanted to show you was that from the harmonies options flyout, you can actually show or hide different color harmonies by simply selecting or deselecting. So I hope you'll enjoy color harmonies. It's a great way of staying focused on your color gamuts, on creating the best color that you can in your paintings. And more than anything, it's a great way to have fun with Painter.